Hey there. So I woke up this morning to the news that Peter Mayhew died. Uh, of course, the actor who played Chewbacca in A New Hope and then in all the subsequent movies. Uh, up until The Force Awakens, and then he passed it on to a new actor. Peter Mayhew uh, died, from what I've heard, from a heart attack at the age of 74. He was already in, in bad health. He couldn't come to fan conventions anymore. Something that he really loved. Uh, I, I remember him as, as an actor who really loved his fans, and it was mutual. And it was not just the fans who loved the character that he played, but there was so much of Peter Mayhew in Chewbacca, in, in the Chewbacca that we know and love. Um, there was something very kind, uh, very friendly about him. And I, I speak from experience. I met him uh, in, in real life around the time of the premiere of The Phantom Menace. Back then, uh, that movie didn't have a worldwide premiere. And as a huge Star Wars fan in the Netherlands, I traveled to the United States for the premiere. That's how much of a dedicated fan I, I was and still am. And in Texas, I met him at a, at a convention. I actually still have a, a memory of that moment. So uh, many actors were there uh, signing autographs. And some of the times with these actors, you had to wait a long time in line. And there was an agent who was just hurrying people up. And he had to pay. And then he would sign. Peter Mayhew would take his time. And, and this was. Uh, when nowadays everything is very regulated around these signing sessions, but you could just have your photo taken with him and then he would have a small talk with you and sign. So he signed me this, uh, this portrait. It's one of my favorite moments in The Empire Strikes Back where he jumps up from the snow and howls and it's just a very funny moment. And it says, to Roderick, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca. And, um, Later, that same week, I met him again at the house of uh, a couple of Star Wars friends. Uh, they had invited Peter and, and uh, his wife Angie to come over for dinner. And I was invited there as well with a couple of my friends. And so we, we had dinner together. And it, it was surreal because I, I grew up with Star Wars. I loved Chewbacca. Um, I, I first saw... Uh, a New Hope as a child in the movie at, at the, during the Dutch premiere. Well, not really on the premiere day, but, but around that time. And because I was a child, Chewbacca was my favorite, just like for anyone else. It was also one of the few characters in Star Wars that was both appealing to, uh, let's say, female audience and a male audience, to, to boys and girls. We all loved Chewbacca because he was strong. He was uh, a, a, really a protector. And at the same time, he was cuddly. He was constantly hugging people. And that was very much um, uh, what, what I think Peter Mayhew also did. He, he was an, a, a towering person, personality, a great, very tall guy. That was one of the main reasons that he was cast. He was not known for you know, any other uh, previous roles uh, out, outside of a costume. He was always masked and in costume. But at the same time, he had that, this gentleness, and he brought that fun, that, that, that kindness, the humor, um, the huggability to, to the character of Chewbacca. And you, you know what my favorite scene is in, uh, uh, of, of Chewbacca in any of the movies? It's, it's a scene, I've got it here on the iPad. It's the moment when, uh, in, in Empire Strikes Back, where Luke is missing, and he's been going on to explore this asteroid that crashed, and, and, and now he's gone, and we all know that he was captured by the, uh, by the Wampa. And then um, they have to close the blast doors uh, of Echo Base because it's too cold during the night. And then this happens. <coughs> And it's that howl, that, that sadness that um, brought me to tears. And I still get chills when I see that scene. It's this inevitability of the, the door closing, a very powerful symbol of also of death, of how we experience death. The door finally closes. We'll never get to see our beloved ones again. And it's that same sadness that we feel every time uh, 
one of the people that we love, be it someone close to us, a family member, a friend, uh, a parent, a child, uh, or, or, or someone that we know by proxy because we, we know them from, from the internet, from uh, all, all the, the, the media out there, from the movies that we love. When, when an actor like that dies, I, we, we're still mourning f uh, about the loss of, of Carrie Fisher, who's also in this beautiful scene. Um, and now Peter Mayhew. But you know what I learned from that scene uh, and from the way Peter uh, portrayed Chewbacca at that moment? It's, it's in the depth, the intensity of the mourning, of the grief, of the sorrow that we measure the amount of love. If we don't care about people, we don't mind if we miss them, if they pass away. We don't really stop. But the more we love someone, the stronger we feel about someone, the more their passing affects us and touches us and makes us mourn and sad and sometimes weep. But we tend to often stop at this feeling of sadness, of, of the negative side of, 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 of losing someone. But there is, a, there is a very positive element in the amount of grief that we feel because it reflects, it's the mirror of the amount of love that we feel for that person, how much that person has meant to us. So grief can also be a moment uh, when you realize how much that person has meant to you, how much that person has given you and is still in your heart, otherwise you, you wouldn't feel that pain. At the end of the teaser trailer for uh, Star Wars 9, for The Rise of Skywalker, you hear the voice of Mark Hamill, of Luke, saying, no one's really ever gone. And I believe that on, on various levels. No one's ever really gone because Peter's love for the character of Chewie, his love for the fans, is something that came across every time you saw him, every time you met him, every time you read his updates on social media. And it, it broke his heart when he, because of his, his failing health, he couldn't, could no longer attend these, these fan conventions because he genuinely was someone who loved his fans and they loved him back. So on that level, he's not really gone. We'll never forget what he brought to the role and what he meant to his fans. Just as much as we can't forget Carrie Fisher. And she's still, in a certain way, she's still in our heart, she's still in our, our memories. But even on a meta level, uh, what I love about that scene when the, the blast door close and, and, and Chewbacca cries out, uh, because he, he thinks it's the end. Well, ultimately, of, of course, we know there will be this, this reunion between Chewbacca and Luke, and they'll hug, just like they hug at the end of, of A New Hope when Luke returns from this almost suicide mission to blow up the Death Star. And then, then there is this embrace, and every time there are these reunions. And as a priest, as a Catholic, I, 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 I believe that one day we'll, we'll, we'll meet again. There, there, is, there is life beyond this life here, and that's, a, that's my personal belief. Uh, um, and I, I hope that there will be a time, an eternity, where we can embrace each other again, and not just Peter, but all the people that we have loved here in this life, um, but that we will be able to continue to love each other for, forever. And we'll all get a mo our moment when we, we can hug Chewie <laughs> and the actors that portrayed him. Um, that, is, that is what I hope. And... and uh, in the end, I, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for what Peter was to his fans, what he meant to me as a child and later on as a fan, his kindness, his friendliness. He's an example for all of us, and I hope to emulate a bit, little bit of that kindness uh, in, in the way that I interact with the people that surround me. May he rest in peace.